welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we will design an ideal sample and hold circuit using the LT spice tool for the design and simulation for more such videos I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below open the LT spice tool and click on new schematic now we require the voltage dependent voltage source and the voltage control switch in order to design an ideal sample and hold circuit. So from the select component symbol, select the E2 which is the voltage dependent voltage source and place this particular voltage dependent voltage source on the schematic window. Next, we would require a voltage control switch. So click escape and in order to move a component, we can use this particular uh, hand symbol. Okay. Now click on components and from the select component symbol, select the voltage control switch and place this particular voltage control switch in order to rotate this particular switch we can use control plus r and we can rotate this particular switch now we have to replace the second voltage control switch so place this particular second voltage control switch on the schematic window and click escape now we have to place a capacitor so click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window and click escape now we require a second voltage dependent voltage source so click on component and select the e2 and place this particular voltage dependent voltage source on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now place the second capacitor in this particular circuit design and click escape now for this particular simulation we require the voltage source so click on components and select the voltage source place the voltage source v1 and place the second voltage source v2 as shown in this particular tutorial now right click on the voltage source v1 and change the reference as v trip and click ok next right click on this particular voltage source v2 and define this as v clock and click ok now we have to define the values for this particular voltage source now extend the wire across both the voltage source that is v clock and v trip now click on ground and place the ground across the negative terminal of both voltage source now, now click on label net and define this as v trip and place across the wire and click on label net and define this as clock and place this particular label net on the extended wire across the v clock and click escape next we have to define the values so right click on the voltage source define the dc value as 0 0.5 volt right click on the v clock select it as pulse and define the v initial as 0 v on as 1 t delay as 0 t rise as 0 t fall as 0 t on as 4.9 nanosecond and t period as 10 nano second and click ok now yeah in order to make things presentable we can 
move this particular uh, value uh, as we require in this particular simulation now we have to place a voltage source so place this particular voltage source v1 and we have to define the appropriate values before that we define this as the v input and click on advanced and define this as sign define the dc offset as 0.5 volt amplitude as 0.5 volt and frequency as 3 megahertz and click ok now click on ground place the ground across the voltage source and click on wire connect the negative terminal of the voltage source to the ground and now in a voltage dependent voltage source it basically consists of two input terminals which is on the left hand side and the two output terminal on the right hand side by inputting a voltage to the input terminal a voltage proportional to the input voltage can be the output from output terminal now click on ground and place the ground across the voltage dependent source e1 across the capacitor c1 c2 and across the voltage dependent voltage source e2 now click on wire connect the negative terminal of the voltage dependent voltage source to the ground the capacitor c1 to the ground capacitor c2 to the ground and the voltage dependent voltage source e2 to the ground as shown in this particular tutorial next click on wire connect the switch s1 to switch s2 and switch s2 to the input terminal of the voltage dependent voltage source e2 and connect the capacitors c1 across s1 and s2 and c2 across s2 and the voltage dependent voltage source e2 next click on wire and connect the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the e2 voltage dependent voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial now right click on the switch and define this as switch mod so this is basically uh, a model which the LT spice would recognize so we have to define this as switch mod and uh, define for both the switches as shown in this particular tutorial next right click on the voltage dependent voltage source and define the e1 as e buffer n and uh, right click on the voltage or dependent voltage source e2 and define this as e buffer out now the amplification factor for the uh, first uh, voltage dependent voltage source will be uh, around uh, 100 mega and click ok and the amplification factor for e buffer out will be around 100 mega and click ok now right click on the capacitor and define the capacitance value as 1 e to the power of minus 10 and click ok right click on the capacitor c2 and define the capacitance value as 1 e to the power of minus 16 and click ok now click on wire and extend the wire across the positive and the negative terminal of the voltage control switch as shown across the switch s1 and extend the wire across the uh, voltage control switch s2 as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to define the labels so define the label as v trip and also we have to define the label clock so click on label net and define the label as clock as shown in this particular tutorial now in order to plot 
are uh, the input and the output waveform uh, we have to define the label net v out uh, which would uh, uh, help us uh, in order to uh, plot the waveforms during the simulation so place the label net v out as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to define the spice analysis so define the stop time as 200 nano and this would be the transient simulate analysis and it defines skip initial condition and place this particular uh, spice analysis on the schematic window next click on spice derivative and we have to define the models for the uh, switch so uh, okay we need not include since the model is present in the LT spice so define this as dot model switch mod sw and place this particular uh, model on the schematic window now save this particular schematic design as a sample and whole circuit or you can give any of the name which is of your convenience uh, so this particular uh, schematic design has been saved uh, now before the simulation we have to uh, define the appropriate labels across various uh, inputs so define this as v in click on label net and define this as v in buff or v in b and place this on the uh, schematic window and also uh, click on a label net and define this as uh, v in s and place on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now click escape uh, and uh, let us run this particular simulation now uh, click on wire that is across v in and click on add plot plane and click on v in s so you can see the sample and hold simulation output thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below